Uh, okay. So, that's done. Did we f jump down to get yes. down here? Where is the village? Uh, this way. Th that rock. Th this is the village? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is a quick way. I mean, there's a million ways to, like, create lift now. Yes. But getting that thing done was good. What is this? Uh, oh, shoot! We oh, wait, we that. already did that. I got all excited because I thought we had spare things, but we, we don't. don't. I can offer you great power, but not yet. <laughs> Bye. So we had talked to... Remember, we had... We talked the, to them. Yeah. They gave us a quest... No, they didn't give us a quest. They were just like... No, they didn't give us a quest. They just went off to do things. Because there's, we no there. there's no adults. Yeah. That's the big thing right now. We did now. that. I was in there. Yeah, because they want bass. Mm -hmm. And then I saw the shrine. Keep going. Yeah. And then I jumped down to get the shrine. I just climbed a stair? So, so this is new. Hi, hi. Thanks for coming in, even though it's snowing so hard. It's cold in the village, but it's even colder on top of the mountain. You'll freeze solid at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm. Like if for you, we sell warm clothes. Uh, okay. Uh, what is this place? This is the Brazen Beak Armor Shop. We have warmer armor. I know it's chilly here, but you know what? They say it's even colder at the top of the mountain. You don't want to freeze up there, mister. Bundle up with some warm gear right here at the Brazen Beak. I'm definitely going to want to sell things to you. Oh, let me give you a neat tip. Okay. People are finding more caves all the time on the road east of here and on the way up the Hebra Mountains. Caves are nice because they're warm. You can hide out from the cold there if you don't have our outfits. Plus, you can find shiny ores inside the sparkly rocks sometimes. We'll pay a lot for those ores, and so will the folks at the general store, so keep an eagle eye out for them. So, it sounds like we definitely need... Well, you have, like, semi-warm pants, so you probably want to get, like, a top or Agreed. a hat. Agreed. So this is 500. Mm -hmm. And our current armor is three, so this is just three with cold resistance, so that's yeah. good. Our current ones are two with cold resistance, so we don't want these. Also, these are a thousand? Yeah. And there's hat. And then the hat. So this is the cheapest thing, mm -hmm. but if we can get to 1150, we could afford both, but we're going to need basically, you know, a thousand bucks. But so... we've been... We've been Getting We've been getting stuff. like ores and stuff, yeah. Yeah, like so I, I don't think that we're not, mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to have a hard time affording this. So let's sort by type, I guess and type, and then scroll mm -hmm. until we get to it. So these are worth something. What's worth like a ton? A sapphire. Mm -hmm. So let's sell that. Okay. Um, Opal? Yeah, but I was. Is there anything else that's worth like a lot in here? Like, what's worth a ton of money? It's the gemstones. It's the gemstones. Not any food. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need these. No. It contains the power of water. It also contains the power of money. <laughs> um, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get the power of money. Warbling guts are pretty expensive too. Uh. It's a rare material, but it's also worth $25, and that's more important to me than guts right now. Um, can be used as a base to make special clothing. We're, we're not going to get to 1150 Decorating. We can sell these. We're definitely not going to get to 1150 Yeah, this stuff's not worth anything. Oh, we have the Frostbite oh, shirt. Oh, we do. Mm -hmm. I forgot. I forgot that we found... Well, Wait, no, that's... Oh, yeah, that's cold weather attack, not cold resistance. Yeah. It's also interesting that they will just let you, like, sell mm -hmm. anything. And I'm like, well, I want the clothing. I want to collect the clothing. I wish we didn't need this, because that'd be a lot of money, but... I'd rather hold on to it. Um, okay. I'm trying to think if there's any way... This will give us not much. So we might as well just buy the shirt and just yeah. be done. Instead of trying to get rid of every single thing that we own. And there's more caves nearby, <clears throat> she said. Yeah. So we got the tunic. Uh, and let's, put it on. Let's go ahead and put that on. Okay. So our cold resistance is like... Pretty good right now. I mean, it's not probably top of the mountain. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
Uh, all right, let's let's go up here and see what else is around. Nothing. Beds. This is where they sleep. They all sleep in the same spot. There's a place to cook. Um, there's a soup ladle. Hot lid, torch. Uh, are we doing okay on food? We have some foods. Yeah. We also have stuff that gives cold resistance. We have some elixirs. A lot of these are real low things. I'm going to maybe cook like two things. Foods at the top. Just like this, this. Um, it doesn't matter if it gives us cold resistance or mm -hmm. not, but like just because we have uh, an ever increasing amount of. Um, that seems good. Like hearts. We probably want to be able to restore more hearts than what we have, so cooking seems wise. <laughs> Let's do one of those, and then maybe, like, one more or something. Cool. I guess we could just put together, like, the bare minimum amount of food, too. Like, simmered fruit... Is that just this? Yeah. Like, is that just three apples? Yeah. Is that the exact same thing? Uh-huh. You hit X. That much takes longer. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that weird? All right, cook, skip. If I do all of these, is that is that also simmered fruit? I believe so. Okay, so simmered fruit is simmered fruit. All right, so we have a few more dishes, which is important because we're gonna want to live. And I'm assuming we're gonna get a quest or something because the kids didn't give us quests. Oh shoot. Let me just gently drop this. That was the wrong button. Sure. Um, okay. Further up. I wonder if Falco is still here. <laughs> He's an adult. Are the, all of the adults gone? That's what they said. Every, every That's adult? That's what the kids said. I don't know that we can climb any of that. It is icy. Yeah, it's not going to go well. Mm -hmm. So here's another something. There's nothing here. Oh, here's some. Oh, you have a quest. Hmm, how about this one? Huh? You need something, mister? Because I'm actually kind of busy. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monsters solid, which gave me an amazing idea for an invention. Wahaha. My problem is I can't go to pick fruit right now with the blizzard and all. And it's so not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with in so long, but without ice fruit, I can't make it. Molly the Fletcher's Quest. Huh? Mister, I felt a cold breeze coming from your pouch. <laughs> it's a little personal. Huh? Mister, what's that you got? That's the ice fruit I wanted, isn't it? Looks like you've also got some cold jelly-like stuff. Is that white choo-choo jelly from one of the monsters that'll freeze you solid if you touch it? Wow, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I can use that to make my big invention. May I have one of either the ice fruit or the white choo-choo jelly, please? I don't care what you take. <laughs> Yay, now I can finally make my invention. When I attach this to the tip of an arrow, I have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. Okay. Sometimes I'm so smart I scare myself a little. I wonder what would happen with other materials. You could make arrows with all sorts of effects. Wow, listen to me. With every breath, I spew out brilliance. <sighs> but I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. Anyway, here's a thank you present. Okay. You know the reason I like making arrows? It's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. I wanted to make arrows that'll go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, getting my name out there, and one day... I'll be a world-famous arrow maker, one my papa can be proud of. So that's complete. Take those arrows. <laughs> ah, those are mine, mister. Hold on. Is your problem that you don't have enough wooden arrows? Uh, sure. It's important to help each other out in times of need. That's what my papa says. So if you want them, they're yours. Thanks. You more? <laughs> no. So if we attach ice fruit or a um, white choo-choo jelly. Oh, here's an adult. Oh, there's some adults. They're not all dead. That's not fair at all. You know I can handle it. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. Mm. I 
of a brain freeze. If we don't do anything, the village... Who's that guy? Huh? Is that you? It is you! Blink! Do, do I know you? Tulin, young Rita warrior. Do we know him? I think he was in the last game. It's Well, everyone seems to be in the last game. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Diva, new Rita Welder. It's very nice to see you again. Do you remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Uh. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. Uh. What, you think I can't? I'm already fully fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. You all keep wasting your time treating the Song of the Stormwind arc like it's real, but not me. Listen, you... Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. He mentioned a song? It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as, as if it were true. Still, every now and then, you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. Hmm... Even if the Song of the Stormwind arc is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. But Tulin, he thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Huh. But these are Rito matters. You came for some. some you came for some purpose, yes? Zelda. Um. <sighs> What? This is terrible news! So then, not even Hyrule Castle was safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow, hmm, we Rita would ordinarily love to contribute to your search, but this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the vill village elder. I wish there was something I could do. Huh. Ah. But maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information, so he might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way? Hmm. He's in the lodge near there, if you'd like to try visiting him. So much to do. So... I'm just gonna... Splurp. I'm gonna, Splurp. gonna blue. Managing food reserves and supplies, granting audiences and such, this village elder gig just isn't sitting right with me. Life was so much easier when all I had to do was hunt, just me and my bow. Huh. But you didn't come to hear me complain. What can I help you with? Anybody seen Zelda? Hmm. Haven't heard anything myself. Did you try asking Hearth? No! <laughs> he has good sources. If anyone has a lead on Princess Zelda, it would be him. Okay! You'll find Hearth in the lodge to the north. Nothing. Yeah, I don't know what you would tell me more about the song. The name of the ship that features yeah, an old Rito. I think this is just a few forget. Bless winds, career. Doesn't sound like a thing really happened, but it's gone. But take a good source of that show story. I guess truth somewhere, but I'm going to call you on help. Nope. If you decide to visit Hearth, take care of yourself. The closer you get to that cloud, the colder it'll get. You'll need to take extra precautions against the blizzard. I mean, I got a good shirt. And pants. As much as I want to fly over there, there's still stuff up yeah, there. Yeah, you should check on this stuff before we forget. But we got the good shirt, so, like, things are going good. Nothing. Okay. And nothing. I love nothing. Wait, And... No. Wait, is that it? That's it. That's the top. So, um, time to fly. Don't forget that your stamina is also for holding. Uh-huh. When you go to run, I mean. Oh. Yep. 
I just remembered everything is icy. Yep. It's not a great thing to remember suddenly, but you... Oh my god! Oh my... Oh my... Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, oh, oh! I'm alive! <laughs> You are alive. It's, um... <laughs> Try this again. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, do over. Instant transmission. Okay, sorry. Uh, just gonna try that again. It's not my finest work. <laughs> do you slip on icy surfaces? Uh-huh. Or is it just wet surfaces? I, it's icy. You sure? Uh-huh. Try and climb that rock. In a second. We yachting, hon? We yachting and hotting. That's hard to say. We yachting and hotting. <laughs> Thank you. For you crushed my skull. Did you try to climb the rock? No. Try and climb the rock. Just double check. Just double check. Well, it's warm enough here, maybe. I don't think you slide on 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 rock. Like it's not well, don't coated. Don't you remember? Well, it's not coated Wait. in ice. It's it it when it's wet and it's raining that happens and maybe if it's like has a sheet of ice but otherwise I think it's just a rock and you can climb it you're just cold while you climb it just ascend up through like here like the kicking legs like I'm getting up there hey it's up <laughs> I think you scared her just going on your roof. Hmm. Well, um, don't fall in the hole. I'm impressed you got out and impressed you went back in. Okay, you're free. Anyway, blue. Over there. Yeah, maybe just do a normal climb. Don't do a jump. Yeah. Cause I don't think you're gonna slip. Yeah, you don't slip. There's a shrine up yonder. I see it. You want me to mark it or no? You can. We can also use our map markers, which we haven't been using at all. Like you can, you can mark that, and then you can press whatever it is minus, and then go to that pin, and then select the pin. And pr turn it into a thing. What, what do you want our thing to be for shrine? This. Diamonds. Okay. Got it. Diamonds or shrines. Oh, there's a whiz robe over yonder. I see him. That's fine. He probably won't give you any trouble. <laughs> thing said moment before disaster. He seems big. Does he seem really big? Is this like a daddy? Because he seems like real big. Come back. You aren't going to get there in time. Just FYI. You should probably shoot them again. Jerk. Shoot. Who could have saw this coming? Oh no. Where'd he go? Died by getting... A sapphire sword. Died by taking an arrow to the knee. It's... It... I wonder if that's worth money. You think so? I don't know. Can a you traveler can sword you, with a sapphire. An average sword used largely by travelers, the blade is decayed, but it can still serve its purpose. So it does six damage, and because there's a sapphire on it, it's probably doing ice yeah. thing. Yeah. Because it was the weapon that he was using. Mm-hmm. 
Neat. Well, if I find an enemy, we'll try it out. Also, it does mean that we can just make our own, like... Water. Yeah? We, we can just make our own ice wands. Mm-hmm. I guess. Because if we just put a sapphire on On a, stuff. On... Is it anything, or is it just whatever? Was this a staff? Like, what kind of weapon was that again? Uh, it was a sword. It's a sword? Yeah. It was a sword. Okay. See? Sword. Okay. Huh. You deserved it. It was great. I loved everything about <laughs> the thing that just occurred. You just stood a thing up and was like, done. It's like, that's gonna whack you. Now, yeah. you're gonna have to learn to actually spin the things. You can't just walk around the entire game. You have to learn how to spin it. Hold R1, press right, yes. Right and left is how you move it. There, it's beautiful. Let me talk to you. I mean, it's, I don't know if beauty is the word I would use for that, but it does look like it'll work. I can't just let go. You can. He's standing! You did it. Whew. Thanks. You did good. Thanks. Perfect. With your help, is now standing. It's my joy. I got thing here. Have this red rupee. And Always then, use some money. And then a food, some some rice balls, and then like one other thing, like a gem or something. A bomb flower. That's fine. I'm off. Bye. There's so many of these sign guys. Anyway, where was I going? Fire. The bonfire to, yeah. That's probably him there. Maybe. Hey, fella. Oh. Hey there, are you here because you spotted the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air. Though as proud as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlight set up around that fancy Skyview Tower. You, the one over... It's above there. us. Mm -hmm. It won't warm you up like a bonfire will, but it's hard to beat it for size and sheer brightness. Oh. The Hylians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Okay. Heber Trailhead Lodge. Ah. We found these strange things at the foot of the Heber Mountains. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? I've done every test I can think of, but I haven't learned anything, not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is they're pretty heavy and sharp. It'd probably hurt if you hit you got hit with one, huh? Well, I've got all I've, I'm going to get out of these things. If you want them for some reason, they're all yours. They're horn. Taking horn. Taking flint. Getting wood. Thanks. Let's go inside. Getting more wood. Ooh. Oil jar. Oil jar, a mild oil extracted from plant seeds. It's very versatile when cooking and can coax flavors from ingredients used in many dishes. Also good for adding fuel to fire. Noted. Spicy peppers. These poor people with stealing everything. I'm drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food or investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard, so we'll be fine if we get a little creative with our cooking. Where'd all my spicy peppers go? With the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. For example, a pinch of spicy pepper warms you up so you don't notice the cold so much. We do not have many of them here, but you're welcome to what's available. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other and help where we can. Thanks. Link, you're all right. I'm worried after I heard that you had gone missing. What happened? Uh. Ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. Uh. Our feathers are full. <laughs> Dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. Mm. And all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. 
We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. Wish I could do more for you. Oh. But now that I think of it, maybe Tulin could help. <laughs> oh, right. You weren't around for it, but... Little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. Oh. His wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Stern Tiba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above. Mm. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him at least. Last I saw him, he was with Gassain and Lysa at on a trip to find food. I think they were on the way to Hebra South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast from here. The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Ah. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave, and you'll be on your way to finding Tulin. So that is apparently what we need to do. Read the book about the Stormwind Arc? Probably, yeah. What do you want to read? The Legend? One day, the winds that ought to blow in Rito Village ceased. Then the heavens grew stagnant, and the earth fell to ruin. It happened fast. The villagers looked skyward for a solution. They saw a figure pierce through the unmoving gray clouds and descend swiftly towards them. Believing no ordinary being could fall from the heavens, the villagers called this figure a god. And the gods stood atop a hill day after day, longing to return home to their island in the heavens. The villagers, forgetting their own troubles, tried to carry the god home on their proud wings. Yet, who could say how far it might be, this, the place this god came from? The Rito took flight in turn, each hoping to reach that place above the clouds. Alas, none had wings strong enough. Seeing this, the god told the leader of the village that returning to the heavens was possible if the Rito gathered materials. Their spirits high, the villagers set about doing so. The god nodded upon seeing the tall pile of materials. This, they understood, would be enough. The god poured a strange power into the pile, and several small boats were assembled. Cautiously, the villagers boarded. The small vessels began floating up into the air. But the god leading them, the boats rose higher and higher, soon passing through the thick clouds. The vastness of the heavens took the villagers' breath away. Floating islands dotted a clear blue sky. The villagers rejoiced songfully and then, with reluctance, returned to earth. One day, winds at the village roared back to life. In shock, the villagers looked to the sky. Floating above them was an enormous ship that the god had sent in gratitude. Numerous oars on both sides began to move like wings, soundlessly churning the skies. Air blew across Hebra once again, the skies cleared, and blooming flowers rose from the ground. The god had given them the blessing of wind. This ark that saved the village from catastrophe came to be known as the Stormwind Ark. So ends the story. Table of contents, tell me about the song. Once, a god fell from heaven, stilling the Hebra winds. The heavens grew lifeless, just as the air below thinned. With the world in upheaval, we pledged to help the Lord. A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. The gods ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its winds brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. That's it, it's a short okay. song. It's a very, it's not a very long song. Uh, that's going to wrap up where we are for today. We need um, to go that way next. Next episode, we're going to follow that trail, I guess. But I have special sword. <laughs> that we're going to use on a tree. <laughs> I mean, it's nice to know that we can make those things, but, yeah. like, it is far more valuable right now to, to me sell them. to sell mm -hmm. them. Yeah.